Hey guys, it's me, Pink Lover, and today I have a really special DIY for you. And it involves the Lego Friends Dolphin Cruiser set, which I got for Christmas. And all you're going to need for the first part is a pencil, a ruler, and a big piece of foam board. What we're going to be making is a background and a water part for the boat to sit on when I'm filming my videos. You don't have to have the Dolphin Cruiser set to do this. You could do this as a background for the lighthouse set or like a Lego city boat or pretty much anything like that. For the first part, put the boat up to the board and you're gonna realize how much water you need to make. So my water line was about an inch. So now to see how much water the boat needs to be sitting on, you're going to put the boat directly onto the foam board and with your ruler or yardstick, you are going to measure all the way across the foam board and draw a straight line with your pencil. Next, what you're gonna do Either with a strong pair of scissors or an exacto knife or something, you're going to cut along that straight line. To take away some rough edges from cutting, use some sandpaper. Now put the two pieces together with hot glue and see how your cruiser looks on it. You don't have to glue them right away, but at the end you will have to glue them together eventually. This part down here is all going to be blue. It's going to be the water. And up here underneath this small line, that will be water too. And above here will be the whole scene that we're drawing. And I'm going to go along with a scene similar to the box. So right now I have a light sketch of a sun and some clouds, but they're very light sketches because they're going to be used with light color. Now I have it all drawn out and I'm going to paint it. From here down is all water. I changed my design a little bit and now I have seagulls and clouds and sun and I drew out a whole little island in the distance. When you're ready to paint, you want to turn the board upside down and paint the whole water area. And then with a really thin paintbrush like this, you're going to take the color of the sky and outline all the details that you do that's above the water. I finished painting the sky blue and now I'm going to paint the sun and you can't tell but there is a light pencil outline underneath the blue paint and those are birds and I'm going to paint those black. I painted the sun with yellow and orange and I shaded together and then I did the birds in black. Now using my fan brush and white paint, I am going to do clouds. Now I did the clouds and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the palm tree and the white breaking of the water at the shore. So now I did the palm tree and the water that hits the island, like the white part. Now I'm going to do the sand and the grass on the island. Now I did the grass and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do the sand. painted the white part of the water and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all the little details on the island. So I'm going to do the bushes and the beach scene and the smoothie bar. So now I painted all the things that were like directly attached to the island and now all I have to do left is the lighthouse, the fruit shop, the island sign and the condo building. I'm going to paint that and come back. Now I finished the whole thing and to make the water shiny I'm going to do a coat of Mod Podge. Now I did the Mod Podge and you can see how shiny it is. See this in action? Check out some Lego Friends videos coming up on my channel soon. Bye.